Thanks for joining us on this edition of National Focus. I'm Kimani Seja. Coming up, over $10 million approved for road work in the Salisbury constituency and more than $500,000 for river defense wall in Dubla. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. I've been in the business for over 16 years. I get up in the mornings and I look forward to having the next cruise ship both on island. When the visitor steps off the ship, the first impression is me. And I believe that I need to put my best foot forward and to ensure that everything I do, I do it to the best of my ability. Based on my recommendation, visitors go to various sites, restaurants, bars, and vendors. I take that responsibility very seriously. I would like that the guest receives the same service that I have provided to that individual or guest. This business is bigger than me. Everybody plays a role. The cleaner who cleans my bus, my mechanic who does my checks, those persons ensure that I provide a quality service to the guest. The tourism dollar doesn't just stop with me. It allows me to pay the bank, visit the supermarket to feed myself and family, and have a drink with friends. My name is Jenna Gist and tourism is my business. Thanks for staying with us. Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt has given a commitment to relocate the residents of Dubla living in close proximity to the sea. Honorable Skerritt was addressing a town hall meeting in Dubla on Sunday. Many houses have been affected by sea swells as a result of hurricanes and storms. Honorable Skerritt said government is prepared to relocate residents of these homes if they are willing. I want you to seriously consider some of you who are living on the seashore because whenever there is a sea surge, you get flooded and get washed up. And if every so often you have to be buying a new TV, you have to buy a new bed, you have to buy a new drawer, I think the time has come for you to get determination to move. All I'm saying to you, this is not yours to me. All I will say to you in regard to that is that we will be prepared to build a home for you if you decide to move. So, Lady has the names, and as the Minister of Finance, I will make the money available to rebuild all of your homes because you have to be relocated to a safer, safer ground. Meantime, the Honorable Prime Minister announced that $400,000 has been allocated for housing assistance in that constituency. He urged contractors who will be engaged in this project to work diligently. I don't want it to be done in a half-hearted way, you know. Okay. If somebody needs a, need a, a nice little room, I need to, to make themselves comfortable. Let us not get a half a room. Let's get a room. Okay. The, the contractors, you have to be more diligent. You know, you, you need it for your people. So do it in pride. Do it to the satisfaction of the beneficiaries. So that they too can say, well, money can pay you. You know, but I find that too many people, too many beneficiaries complain about contractors not finishing the work properly. You know, and 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 they don't put they don't put enough cement in the mix. And and you know, if you if you give me money to buy a new a new boss, don't go and take old boss from an old project and bring it in. If you give me money to buy a new face basin. Not because you work with somebody project and it was not this kind of face basin, you won't clean it and you scrub it and everybody goes buy the new face basin and make the first. The community of Dubla will benefit from an over $500,000 river defense wall. Many residents of that community are affected by the river during storms or excess rainfall. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Collieho constituency, Lady Catherine Daniel, addressing a town hall meeting in Dubla on Sunday, revealed that on Wednesday, contracts will be signed for that project and work should commence next month. Honorable Daniel urged the young people in the community to avail themselves for employment opportunities during the construction of this river wall. I want to tell you, the young people there, please, because the contractor will not come to you to ask you, do you want a job? Please, young people, make yourself available. You see, when things happen in 
your community you have to take ownership and be part of it so when you pass you say i had a hand in that wall so you will help protect the wall and i'm urging the young uh, masons and people with the skills which are necessary to help in the building of that river defense wall to make yourself available to get a job there the project is expected to be completed in July. Also on the cards for the community is a gas station for the fisher folk. The Honorable Parliamentary Representative is working collaboratively with Petro Caribe Dominica for the commencement of the project. She announced that a site has already been identified for the building. I have to thank the Minister responsible for Petro Caribe, Honorable Austri and because they will do a demonstration later two three first days ago they came down we looked at the site we had one of the fishermen told them there with us and they have identified the site the stage they're at the way they went back and they told us we will get the design soon and in quick time the designs were presented today a little later you will see the presentation of the design for the gas station because what they asked do you all want a pump but then if we are developing our community and we see the playing field being developed or road is being fixed, I mean you don't want a pump standing on the side of the place. So we have, I said no, we need a little place where you can have a little washroom, sell a little thing, a little mini mat, like that. So it could uplift the place. In more news, the Honorable Minister for Health, Dr. Kenneth Daru, says the construction of the new National Hospital is progressing satisfactorily. Speaking at a town hall meeting in Pishle last week, the Honorable Minister explained that not only will the new hospital be a state-of-the-art facility, but government is also facilitating the training of specialized medical professionals. Phase one of the new National Hospital is going smoothly. We anticipated, of course, some um, certain issues, but I want to thank God that so far, construction has been going smoothly without any major issues. So in addition to, the, to this new hospital, okay, we are also in the process of, rec of um, training new doctors, new specialists and stuff to improve the service to PMH, also procuring new equipment, equipment that is going to be worthy of a new hospital. And not only that, we also realize that even if we have a new hospital and new staff and new equipment, that the cost of healthcare is very high. So we are saying that this new hospital that we are going to build has to be accessed by everybody, by the PM Scary, by Minister Blackmore, by Minister Blanchard, not only people, bank tellers or bank owners, whatever the case may be, but by the everyday man from Pichler, the farmer from Pichler, etc. Which is why in this, year's, in this year's budget, the Minister of Finance committed $5 million towards the National Health Insurance that we are going to target first and foremost single mothers below the age of 35 so they'll be able to access these facilities without pain, without, without, um, without the challenge or the burden on their pocket. The new National Hospital will cost more than EC $100 million and is a pillar project of the 2004 Accord between the governments of Dominica and the People's Republic of China. It is being constructed by Hunan Construction Engineering Group Corporation. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. I've worked in the service industry for nine years and I love it because of the people I get to meet every day. And that's one of the reasons I went back to college, to be better able to serve the tourists when they come to our destination and to be able to learn more about Dominica. I love learning more about Dominica because the more I learn, the more I can share. And I just want to share Dominica with everyone. I'm from Manjan, which is in the southeast of Dominica, and I've lived overseas for 24 years. Living overseas has made me appreciate Dominica and all it has to offer, like taking a walk in the forest, going to the botanical garden, or even drinking fresh sous water. I never thought I could miss green so much. Even as a student, I'm still directly linked to the tourism industry, from something as simple as giving directions to tourists, or even more involved, like an internship at a hotel, or a cleanup campaign with DHTA. As a tourism student, I have made the decision to take my place in this tourism industry. My name is Lucina Nicholas, and tourism is my business. 
Welcome back. The launch of the first mobile application to enhance transportation options in Dominica has been hailed a step in the right direction by officials from the Ministries of Tourism and Information Science, Telecommunications and Technology. Mobile application Aura, launched by Visital Technology, will allow customers to request transportation to and from destinations. The app was launched last week at the Fortune Hotel. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Information, Science, Telecommunications and Technology, Lucien Blackmore, stated that young people are distinguishing themselves as credible, ambitious and ready to deliver as part of the productive sector. For the Ministry of Information, Science, Telecommunications and Technology, what we see here today is indeed a momentous occasion because government has been vigorously engaged for the past few years now trying to ensure that the enabling environment is here so that we could maximize our benefits and reward from the advancement of modern technology. Because that is a Dominican product that have no borders not within the sub-region of the OECS or the wider region of CARICOM. I mean, it will transcend all borders at the end of the day. That is a Dominican product. That represents us. So I really, really want us in a very constructive and in a very productive way, utilize the application and give our serious, constructive feedback and comment to the team so we can see continual enhancement of that product. He encouraged the stakeholders in the private sector to begin giving exposure to the application. Officer in the Ministry of Tourism, Darrell Titt, spoke on behalf of the Minister for Tourism and Urban Renewal, Senator Robert Tong. This app complements the government's drive towards the development of the tourism industry, towards the development of the IT industry. It also creates an opportunity to market Dominica because if you want people overseas to know about this app, you have to tell them about it. And seeing as this app is towards Dominica, you have to tell them about Dominica as well. So the Ministry of Tourism is indeed quite pleased that the young people have developed something that will be beneficial and complementary to the tourism industry. One of the eight partners of Visitel Technology, said Samuel, gave the benefit of Aura to customers and drivers. For customers, Aura is a convenient, inexpensive, and safe car service. You can hire a private driver to pick you up and take you to your destination with the tap of a button from your phone. For drivers, Aura provides exceptional pay while allowing you to be your own boss and pick your own hours. You can take on fares whenever you wish and while meeting people in your country from all walks of life. The application is available for download in all of the app stores and allows for cashless transactions. The application has also been deemed safe for both customers and drivers. Many people will be curious as to how safe Aura truly is, and rightfully so. Your safety is infinitely important. The truth is, for a taxi service, Aura is incredibly safe. After each ride, a passenger will rate their overall experience with the ride. Drivers hi are highly reliant on good ratings, otherwise they will get the boots. Likewise, drivers will rate the passengers after each ride as well, so other drivers can get a heads up about troublesome or belligerent riders. Residents of the Salisbury constituency can expect to soon see extensive road rehabilitation work in their communities. That's according to caretaker for the Salisbury constituency, Nichols Esprit. At a town hall meeting on Monday evening at the Community Resource Center in Murnachet, Esprit announced that the Honorable Minister for Finance, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, has approved well over $10 million for road work in the communities of Murnachet, Culebri Street and Salisbury. The Salisbury Feeder Road itself is part of the BAM project. And the BAM project has three lots. So Salisbury Feeder Road is part of lot one. And lot one comprises of the Syndicate Road and the Salisbury Feeder Road. Work is ongoing in the Syndicate area and work has started in Salisbury. The BAM project, I must say to you, is a total of $23 million. But let me, let me say further to you that the feeder road in Salisbury is 14.4 kilometers long. 
and the Salisbury feeder road alone will take $10 million of the BAM money. He further stated that work on some of the roads is expected to begin as early as this week. Esprit also affirmed to the constituents that despite claims from naysayers, government has not forgotten the people of the Salisbury constituency. He explained that the DLP government is not politically biased when it comes to taking care of the needs of the people of Dominica. Many times we go and we listen to people who speak. They go on Facebook and they go on the other radio station and they say nothing is happening in Salisbury and so on and so forth. So tonight I will report to you so you will take a pen and a paper and a calculator and I want you to calculate and at the end of the exercise you will see for your own self the amount of money that the government is spending in the Salisbury constituency. Many times when the pal rep speaks, he loves to say that you only check labor rights. But if we were only checking labor rights, our lease for toilet facility in Salisbury would only be 12 or 15. But the figure is 62. He highlighted some of the programs ongoing as well as those constituents can look forward to. We have had discussion with the NEP and the discussions were in an effort to come and to bring to this constituency, uh, the villages, Monrachet, Kulibistri, Salisbury, what we refer to as the beautification project. So very soon we will be coming to you, particularly the young people, with a meeting and those who are interested in working with the NEP under the beautification project, we will have employment for you. In the Salisbury constituency, there are 15 people who are beneficiaries of the Yes We Care program. And I must note that out of the 15, 10 of these people are from Salisbury. And I don't have to say anything more. And the five others are from Kulibistri and Monrachet. I am happy to report to you that the Honorable Prime Minister has approved 45 toilets to be done in the first phase in this constituency. Uh, it would be distributed accordingly, 15 for Salisbury, 20 for Monrachet, and 10 for Kulibistri. The total amount of people needing washroom facilities in this constituency is 112, 19 from Kulibistri, and 29 from Monrachet. It means over 60-something of the remainder are from Salisbury. The town hall meeting is one of many organized by the Labour Party administration to sensitize the Dominican public on the ongoing projects and plans for the development of Dominica, funded under the Citizenship by Investment Program. And that's the English segment of the news. The Shakira Pier is up next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel aquéole, non moi c'est Shakira Pé. Premier ministre, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt, qui a fait promettre assistance pour mon petit entreprise Wozo, qui a été récent, tu as assistance au gouvernement pour développer l'entreprise. Premier ministre Skerritt, Joël et puis plus qui descend mon semaine passée. Premier ministre a fait promettre assister l'argent gratuit à la CBI là. Si la PM scary, le gouvernement a fait un peu de faire available. Mais c'est mon salaire, si vous avez fait un commitment aussi. Il dit si le gouvernement a réalisé que le monde a servi l'argent à bien, le gouvernement a fait plus de ressources available. Il a créé ce monde pour un succès business. Le gouvernement Dominique a fait un commitment de 5 000 dollars pour le programme salaire. A dat nouvel, Minis Manajma Glo, Honorable Reginald Austri, ka fe pa wal ki e fe chanjma klimatik, ka fe bien nesese developma bagay pou mitigasyon resource natural glo. Honorable Austri fe pa wal sa la o ling de yon workshop, yon simen ki ka po plas a Dominik. Workshop sa la miti atasyon a su manye pou protekte Manajma Glo. Officier Doasko e pi officier Company Glo a Rejo la ka atad. Your company Brazil ka facilitate workshop la. Dominique epi Brazil si e a seoma pou manajman glo. Kouverma Mexiko ben a tewe sa opportunity edikasyon pou etudan ki a tewe sa. Bagay sa la soti yot o ling de vizit ambasada peyi sa la Luis Manuel Lopez Moreno pou Dominique. Opportunity ave la ban souje kon medsen engineering, agronomy, AP tourism. Yo ka osi yo fe masters, AP PhD an divers souje. Mexiko ka osi engaje general manager Flo, Jeffrey Baptist, ka ofisye liezon a Dominique. 
Et puis finalement, le gouvernement d'homme n'est qu'à garder une possibilité d'ici puis ouvrir avant l'année la venue au bout. Parole ça la sortie au premier ministre, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt. Les îles ont arrêté l'opération l'année 2015 après Erika Bédomagey. Honorable Skerritt dit que le gouvernement a chimé pour tuer les îles, mais il y a un nom de business mutuel à la terre. Quand le gouvernement a fait avec 2 millions de US dollars pour commencer l'opération. PM l'a dit, le gouvernement va mettre le secteur privé, oui, en tant que gouvernement. Ça, c'est tout pour nouvelle Acquayol. Non, moi, c'est chaque européen. Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Home composting your leaves, grass clippings, garden waste, and food scraps reduces the amount of garbage you generate. According to BHG.com, you can create your own compost. Just layer organic materials, garden clippings, dry leaves, kitchen vegetable scraps, shredded paper, and a dash of soil to create a concoction that turns into humus, the best soil builder around. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow us on Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is available 24 hours a day on our YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I'm Kimani Seja. Thank you for watching.